you can see on this layer that I have selected here, this top layer, um, the, the footage actually exists to this long, but I've trimmed it down to see to be able to only see part of it, not all of it. You can do it to the left edge, the left edge and the right edge either way. So um, if I if I hover over the right the, one of the edges left or right and click and drag, I'm changing what I'm seeing of the actual footage, right? I'm not seeing this part of it. So um, this is the in point and that's the out point. This is the internal in point and out point, not the external one. So again, remember to jump to the in point is I, to jump to the out point is O. Um, and how do you know if you, um, so see this little black corner there? That tells you that you've reached the end. You can't go any further than that. Um, sometimes what happens is your footage is off. It's, it starts actually way over here beyond uh, prior to zero. And you're, and you're not sure if there's anything more. Well, there is because because you don't see that little black sign, black little corner. So as soon as you see that little black corner, oh, there's the end of it. Okay. So if you select, for example, this guy, um, you see the other black corner, that's the end of it. Okay. So in other words, you don't have to use the entire piece of footage. You could just use, use part of it and you can decide what part you want. You can actually move what you see. So the duration stays the same. You're just moving where it starts in time. Okay. So there's ghosting and then there's the actual, um, uh, visible parts. So once again, if you're, um, if you are like over here and this clip ends and suddenly something disappears, nothing is visible is because this is ghosted and this is also ghosted. So we don't actually see anything. Okay. So be aware of that. Those are some gotchas that trip people out. Like I can't see anything. What, what happened to my footage? All right. So that's that thing.